Hello, everybody. This is Coach Shafto. Today, we are going to work on adding fractions with unlike denominators. So let's go ahead and begin. Remember our steps for finding common denominators. Step one is to multiply or skip count to find common denominators. Step two is to rewrite the problem. And step three is to solve. So let's look at my first problem here. I have seven fourths plus two thirds. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply or skip count. I'm going to start easy. So let's go ahead and skip count. So I have seven fourths and then I have two thirds. And so if I skip count, this is going to be eighths and then I'm going to get twelfths and then I'm going to get sixteenths. And each of these is a fraction, so that's going to be 7, and the next one is 14. So this is 14 eighths, and then I have 21 twelfths, and then I have 28 sixteenths. And the multiplication version of this would say that 4 times 2 is 8, 7 times 2 is 14. So I'm multiplying times 2 over 2, which is a whole. 4 times 3 is 12, 7 times 3 is 21. So I'm multiplying by 3 thirds, which is a whole. I'm multiplying 4 times 4 is 16. 7 times 4 is 28. So I'm multiplying 4 fourths, which is a whole. So in the next one, let's do the same thing. I have 6 as my denominator, 9 as my denominator, 12 as my denominator. And I should be triggered here because I have 12 as the denominator. 2, 4, 6, 8. Again, we've got 8 twelfths. And we have 21 twelfths. So now I've found my common denominators. I'm going to rewrite I have 21 twelfths plus 8 twelfths, and that's going to give me 29 twelfths, and I am now done. Let's look at my next problem. In the next problem, again, I've got 1 half and 8 twelfths. And so the first step is step 1. I'm going to skip count. I've got 1 half. And then I have 8 twelfths. So 1 half goes to 2 fourths. And then I go to 3 sixths. And then I go to 4 eighths. And then 5 tenths. And then 6 twelfths. Now, one thing we notice now is we have 12 and 12. The other thing we can know is and I could actually simplify this instead of skip counting, I could go up to 16 24ths. But I could also go down because 8 can divide by 2 and 12 can divide by 2. So I could go to 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 12 divided by 2 is 6. Notice I can go down again. I can divide 4 by 2, which would give me 2, and 6 divided by 2 would give me 3. So I've got common denominators here. I have 8 twelfths, and I have 6 twelfths, but I also have 4 sixths, and I have 3 sixths. The better option is sixth because it is the lowest common denominator. So I end up with 4 sixths plus 3 sixths, which is going to be equal to seven sixth. In the last problem, I have three fourths and five tenths. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply or skip count to find common denominators. So in this case, I have three fourths and I have five tenths. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and multiply instead. So I know that I could do 40, but I also know that 4 goes into 20. So I know 10 goes into 20. I know 4 goes into 20. So since I know my multiplication tables, I can just say that I know my denominator is going to be 20. And so this is 4 times 5 is 20. So I need to multiply 3 times 5. Notice again that this is a whole. So 3 times 5 is 15. And so over here, I have 20 as my denominator. 10 times 2 is 20 and 5 times 2 will be 10. And so I have 15 20ths and 10 20ths, and I'm going to add them together. 
Now I'm noticing actually that I could have simplified uh, because five tenths is a half. And so that would be the same as two fourths, but we've done what we've done. So I have 15 twentieths plus 10 twentieths. So we're rewriting plus 10 twentieths, which is going to be equal to 25 twentieths. And if I were to simplify this, I can divide by 5, divide by 5, and five, 25 divided by 5 is 5, 25 by 5 is 4. So I end up with 5 fourths or 25 twentieths.